Well, hello, this is Americano Lapidot, and we are in the user's guide. Uh, today, we're going to speak about the Sirui T024X. It doesn't matter much because there are many different models that all kind of like. You have to see what's what's best for your gear and what's best for your camera. This is what you would call a travel tripod. Uh, it has the um, this weird way of opening it, uh, which should save some space, and it does. It does save the space. Well, if we would fold it the, the regular way, it would take a bit more space. Not the biggest issue. There are many things that you should consider when uh, when getting a tripod. Um, most people would say stability is the number one factor. And I say, well, stability is important to a tripod, but when you consider travel tripods, uh, another thing that's extremely important is how uh, quick and how easily and how conveniently you can take them out of your backpack put a camera on them and, and take the shot because if you would carry a tripod that's not convenient, it's not light enough, uh, you either don't want to take it uh, to the to the better uh, part of your trips or you don't want to take it out so you'll end up not using the tripod as much as you should and if you'd have a lighter tripod, a uh, more convenient tripod which would be a bit less stable, you'll use it more and uh, shooting on a decent tripod is almost any time um, much more stable than shooting handheld. So how would you set up the tripod? Well, a guy that sold me this one at B&H, which was a really nice guy, I don't remember his name, he told me that you should open the tripod from the lower section to the upper one. And why is that? I'll explain in a minute. And you have to, uh, to close it from up, the upper section, to the lower section. And why is that? If you would open the tripod from the upper section, it would be like, you open this, and then once you come to open this part, it moves. The thing moves inside and it will, uh, it will degrade the system after a while, after a long while, but well, you don't want to degrade your tripod, you want to erode the, the thing is inside. So you open from the bottom up, you don't have to close it, but then you don't mess with the, with the system inside. Now you close from this because if I would close here, you see, the column moves. So I'm closing this, then that. You can open it with one hand as long as you go, you take, with a pinky, you take this and then start to open this way, okay, close, close, close. Okay, so we have a tripod set, um, and um, the benefits of, of a travel tripod to landscape photographer well, you can take uh, long exposures, you can do many things, but I think one of the most uh, obvious, uh, well, maybe it's not the most obvious uh, uh, advantage, but it's to me it's a very obvious uh, advantage, is that the tripod gives you the maximum resolution out of your gear. And why is that? Shooting handheld with a, with a landscape camera, this is the 5D SR, uh, it can be Nikon D800, Pentax K1, etc. Well, you have so many pixels crammed on a very small sensor. Well, uh, full frame is not small, you'd say. It's small. It's small to fit 50 million uh, photodiodes, which every movement equivalent to the size of a pixel during the exposure time will cause some sort of blur. Not the highest, but some sort of blur. Well, of course, as long as your exposure is faster, less blur, but uh, it's still some sort of blur. And uh, when you shoot landscape, you, sh you sometimes use uh, uh, close ap uh, apertures and low ISO. So sometimes you'd like to have um, a relatively long exposure. So the tripod eliminates this completely. Uh, you use the tripod, you set the mirror lockup for two seconds or five seconds or whatnot. And there is absolutely no movement to the sensor. Many camera makers, they make dampened mirrors and they make a preset uh, mirror lockup for the 5DSR, which is excellent. Or uh, in, uh, stabilized sensor or stabilized lens. None of those work perfectly as a tripod. Tripod does this perfectly. Nothing moves, nothing at all. I use um, live view because then the mirror goes up and then I get... Um, a first curtain of electronic exposure, if I remember correctly, <clears throat> and this is what I find to be the most accurate uh, way of shooting, and then I can uh, focus precisely. But well, everybody has his own way. But tripod, in my opinion, affects the sharpness and the quality of your file uh, 
sometimes even more than the lens because every lens is sharp at, at f8 or if most of them at f5.6 or f11 and every camera can give sharp images but a tripod just give give a little oomph to the photos and I really recommend what well, and it does give you some sort of, of, of uh, quiet you put the camera on the tripod you you invest something in every in every picture it kind of like uh, taking making this 35 millimeter into a medium format or a large format camera you take time to take a photograph you take time to compose it actually betters your photography it makes you a better photographer in my opinion but it's important to have a tripod which is light enough and nice enough and easy enough to use so you actually use it. If you don't use it, it's worth nothing. There are many kinds of travel tripods from Siri, from Enduro, from uh, Gizzo, from Manfrotto, from who, whatever. Go to the store, try the tripod, see if it goes uh, well with your equipment, see if it has the spirit levels where you want them to, see if it has whatever you need, see if, if it fits you, see if it feels comfortable. The numbers on the tripod does not always uh, tell the complete story. I mean, uh, some tripods will hold, well, most tripods will hold the camera in the uh, horizontal um, setting, but sometimes moving to the uh, to the vertical setting doesn't work as good. You see here, you see the little thingy here, it, it stuck here. So you have to go, you have to move it to this direction. Things you need to know about about your gear, uh, and sometimes it's not uh, the uh, as steady as you want it to. So go somewhere and check the tripod before you pay for it. And then there are so many kinds uh, and so many price points that you can practically find everything that will fit uh, will fit any budget. Um, well, that's most of what I have to say about travel tripods. Uh, this is the Zero T O Two Four X. This was the user's guide and I'm a weekend on Lapidot. Have a nice day. Bye bye.